In this demo, we're going to look at period and assist for Dynamics NAV created by Match Business Solutions. The idea is to make the life of the financial controller easier when closing the, the periods. The number of tasks needs to be done, like recurring journals or for inventory adjusting the cost and then then posting them to the GL. You would need to, to go to the fixed asset and calculate the depreciation, then post the depreciation to the GL. You may need to go to the currencies, updating with the latest exchange rate and calculating the unrealized losses and gains, etc, etc. So period and assist gives you a single view where you can complete and review all your tasks. So if we go to action, we can see under inventory what needs to be done. Same thing for currency, fixed assets, accruals, even you can change the dates once the uh, period is completed and you can see straight away if the job has been done. You get as well some statistics. Then, if we go to the report section, you find the most important reports to run and some new reports that we've created, such as ship, not invoice, giving you the sales and the cost of goods sold. We've got the received not invoiced report and uh, this report show you what it was at that time. So actually there is a standard report showing the received not invoiced. The problem with a standard report as you can see it starts with purchase header that is to say the current purchase orders so it can only give you what you have today receive not invoiced or ship not invoiced whereas the one we've done can go back any date in time we've made another report for the unrealized currency gains and losses that gives you the detail per document and as well a summary for all customers, vendors, bank and in case you've posted something directly into your account it would show as well. Another new report provided is the inventory adjustments. Adjustments hit your bottom line at 100% so it's good to know what they are. Here you get a uh, a summary per location and per month and the full details by items. The aim of these reports are to give you the details of these accounts. Again, unrealized gains, adjustments and received and shipped, not invoiced. Finally, there is an audit mechanism between ledger and subledger entries. With improper use of the direct posting in the GL, it's not impossible that you get out of sync. And you can check if it's okay right now, or you can even schedule an alert if any inconsistency appears. So in summary, you have a cockpit with a single view to run all the tasks and checks. 
a subledger ledger consistency audit and some new reports for items received not invoiced shipped not invoiced the unrealized gains and the inventory adjustments and all of these three reports are can be run at any point in time